I'd like to show you a piece that I'm working on right now. It's not quite finished, but um, I'm soon getting there. It's called Time Machine Slash Art Clock. Not this one. This one. And so I emptied the cache of the browser. So you're getting the experience as it downloads the images. So that gives a certain sort of an order to the presentation of the images because at each brush stroke, that is each frame of the animation, it makes a bunch of random decisions as to which images it displays, but of course that's just whatever images it currently has access to. And once all of the images are downloaded, um, then it's got full random access to all of the images. So that's why I emptied the cache, because as it downloads, it doesn't have full access to all the images. So it works with what it has at any stage. So what are we looking at? Well, we've got a foreground and we got a background in the foreground. We got a clock that uh, yeah, displays the time. In the background, we've got uh, clocks and watches and eventually there will also be hourglasses and water clocks and really old time machines, really old clocks, that is, and all manner of time devices, actually, in the background. And in the background, there's about, eventually there will be about 130 images that it has access to. These total about uh, 450 megabytes and in the foreground, we see that the time is filled with images. And the images that it's filled with are from something that I created called Alchemical Cosmography, which is a collection of images that are from the 9th to the 18th century. And um, these images have to do with alchemical alchemy and cosmography in the sense of cosmography in the sense of uh, images of the cosmos, uh, celestial maps, um, pictures of the universe as it was known at that time, you know, the planets, uh, which were considered, of course, at that time, there was a lot of um, geocentric thinking, that is, you know, that the Earth is the center of everything. So the, the diagrams are circular, like the solar system. And um, the alchemical cosmography collection also includes images of, you know, like fortune, fortune, or the wheel of fortune, round, um, lots of round images. And so you have circular images, both in the foreground fills and in the background. And certainly the circle is the, the main compositional uh, form in this piece. And so you get this massively intersecting geometry of circles. The brush strokes in the background, uh, each, each, every four seconds it renders a, a brush stroke in the background. And a brush stroke in this case, in the case of this particular brush, is circular. And it's filled with a collage of images of the clocks. Uh, which are themselves usually circular. So you get a lot of circles going on. You know, one of my favorite things, one of my favorite math things when I was an undergraduate studying combinatorics, which I loved, was the uh, principle of inclusion and exclusion. 
you know, uh, Venn diagrams, you've seen Venn diagrams with three intersecting circles used for a variety of purposes. Well, the principle of inclusion and exclusion is a generalization of Venn diagrams, so it deals with N circles or other shapes that are intersecting and deals with the mathematics of you know, massively intersecting <laughs> circles. And uh, this is a meditation on time. It is pretty much on time. You know, it's a clock, it's a watch. It tells the time. And although it does skip a second every five or six seconds, you know, it's so busy drawing the diagram, drawing the graphics, that it actually skips a second. <laughs> you know, forgot about that. Oh, let's go again. So, it's more or less on time, internet time. But, uh, you know, there's uh, the, the clocks and the watches in this are meant to be not just uh, consulted with the time, but they are very interesting things to look at on their own for the most part. Uh, people have been turning clocks and watches and hourglasses, etc., into meditations on time for a long time. One of the interesting things that sometimes happens is that uh, you get you get one circle that is composed of several different circles or t two or more circles, um, and so you get this impression of this one circle, this one time, this one clock that is sliced into a, a number of different. <laughs> Clocks, so you get this sort of intersection of, of time frames smushed together to create you know, a new time frame, which is conceptually interesting. Whether the the smush is you know different time periods, because of course there are clocks from different time periods, or a different sort of an intersection of time so I've been looking at this pretty much all day for several days now and uh, uh, yes it's fried my brain thanks for checking it out